Hi, I'm Senator Ben Cardin from the state of Maryland. Well, the principal objective of health care reform is to bring down the growth rate of health care costs. If we bring down health care costs, the growth rate, then health care premiums for insurance will also go down. So by using prevention and wellness programs to keep people healthier, by managing more complex diseases uh, that will require less medical uh, intervention, by getting more people insured so that they don't use the expensive emergency rooms and, and have access to, to primary care, and by improving health information technology so that you can better manage a health care system, bringing down administrative costs. All that will bring down the growth rate of health care in America. The end result will be that your insurance premiums will also go down as health care costs go down. Well, I think it's difficult to predict what the public option will look like or whether it will be in the final plan. The main objective of a public option is to make sure that there is an affordable insurance option for every American. If you live in rural America or you're an individual trying to find health insurance or you're a small business owner, it's very difficult to find an affordable uh, private insurance option and there's virtually no competition. The purpose for the public insurance option is to provide more competition to bring price down for health insurance for those who otherwise would have a hard time finding an affordable option. So I hope it's in the final version because I believe it will help more Americans find affordable health uh, coverage. I've learned in the United States Senate, it's not likely you can make reliable predictions. I've told that to my wife, uh, don't expect me home for dinner. We just don't know the schedule of the United States Senate. I think we are hopeful that we can get a bill through the United States Senate uh, by the holiday break, by Christmas. I think that would be a major accomplishment if we could get that done. Then obviously you have to go to conference and that could take a little bit longer. And hopefully by the beginning of the year, sometime in January, a bill could be submitted to the President of the United States.